There's something about vision that sharpens the more you fix your eyes on it. From a distance, it remains a hope, a possibility, words you allow to escape from your inner thoughts. But dare to take the first step, the first leap, the first yes, and watch something undiscovered begin to take shape. Fear wants you to reject what expectation feeds. Faith that what you're after is worth continuing to chase. Don't stop. Inspire me to be the highest me. Mommy Motivation. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to our homeschool remodel series. If you're new here, I am Z. I share lessons in faith, family, and fulfillment. I hope that by sharing my lessons, it helps you to embrace your own. Today is a DIY type of day. It is beautiful out. So we are soaking in this vitamin D while my kiddos play. I was thinking about the fact that all of the things that we've done so far in our homeschool room have really focused on the babies, the kids. So we did their full wall chalkboard. We did their seating area. Area and their storage bins for their toys and I will link anything that you have missed the whole series in the comments no worries you can go back and watch it all but I was thinking I need something for me I need an area where I can store their resources and things that I use to plan and do the things that I have to do as a mama and so I was going to buy something and look for something that would close in because on those days where everything spills out and I need to be able to you know just keep it moving and I worry about about all the spillage I like to be able to just close it off and not even see all the mess but the truth is you know I am a stickler for being able to find savings and deals when I am shopping and I just couldn't see spending that money at this time as I'm looking around my house and seeing things that I can repurpose and reuse my motto is therefore use what you have until you get what you want and so you are going to see this day some bit of that me repurposing things that I've had for many years uh, some that is uh, just not even up to par so to speak but we gonna make it work it's the make it work day and at the same time hubs has been working on uh, a project that is our greatest challenge we didn't think it would stretch out this long but it has and it has been a learning process but I'm grateful because I had a vision and I can see my vision coming to pass and through all of the struggle and challenges, I can see the other side of it. It is almost here. And so if you uh, have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification because next week we are doing a special edition where you will get our last special piece of our homeschool space as well as a full reveal of everything that we've done in the series. So be sure to tune into that. So here I have this pretty much like nine to 10 year old shelf, like a bookcase. And I'm going to go ahead and just use this. Oops, you see that little cheap little board <laughs> and fell. But I'm going to use this um, and just spray paint it using this uh, chalkboard paint, uh, or chalk paint rather, to cover it in white. These are also the old bins that I used to put the kids curriculum in it's a couple of good four or five of those I'm gonna spray paint them white and then uh, I got some contact paper here and I cover it with the contact paper so that that ends up being the inside of the bookcase and we'll see what that looks like So listen, I don't know what all this looks like from your perspective, but I know when I watch DIYers, I'm like, this looks so effortless. Man, was my neck, my back, my wrist, my elbow, everything was paining me from this spray paint job. I'm just like, look, I took a pause for the cause and decided to check in on what Hugs was up to. So here he is piecing together this natural wood for our floating desk, which I'm totally excited about. And uh, so I didn't show that process, but pretty much you use some Gorilla Goo to piece together this nine foot table. Can we say lengthy? Here he is about to stain it. And we ran into a bit of a oopsie daisy because he thought that he had bought something that was a little more on the brown side versus black. But here we are with this paint trying to figure out what we're going to do as we're trying to stain it. 
notice this is just our first time so y'all bear with us as we work this out so we had this stain this black stain we had cognac and we also had a gray color and it just felt like none of them were working out the way we had envisioned so it was a real what make it work moment as Hubs was putting it all down. I was beginning to get a little anxious about whether this was gonna work out as planned when I turned around and noticed there was some leftover chalk wall paint that we used to paint our uh, chalkboard wall. And I asked Hub what he thought about us going ahead and using that on the table. He was a bit resistant at first, but you know what? He came along and at the end, we both were satisfied. So Eventually, I went back to finishing up my projects as well, and we got a chance to piece it all together. Check it out. It goes without saying that this is by far one of my most prized possessions when it comes to DIYs because it was what me and my husband deemed as a mistake that happened on purpose. We did not expect it to look like this and surely we did not expect to use the chalkboard paint on this table, but I love it. I was able to find these frames at the dollar store and it just seems to capture each one of their personalities exact. I was able to find this super cute pillow and just use some stuffing that I had and filler and get that there. But I thought the colors just pull and it's just so inviting and I love that. So this was the table. And then of course you saw my kids go crazy about these chairs. I think they were just happy to have something different in the room. I mean, I just can't say enough about how surprised I am by how this turned out. And I'm super pleased with the results, especially given the fact that I just didn't really even know what it was gonna turn out to be. And I was super, super taking a risk with this contact paper, but I feel like all these colors really pull from each other very well. I would not have thought that. You would have thought that these were a set, but I found them in, um, separate places and so I thought that was cool that they all pulled together the same color scheme but the thing that I like the most about my area is that it's functional it really fits what I need it to be so we have just my container for um, all of my pins and things that I use on a regular basis and I spray painted that copper I think it was initially black and then I just took this old puzzle it came with four puzzles in it um, you know, those four in one kind of puzzles. And I am always losing my paper clips and binder clips and um, looking for a sticky note every which way. And so I thought that was such a great hack. And I found these at the dollar store. Yes, the dollar store. Love that they're see-through and the rustic look of them. But it fits exactly what I needed it to, which to be able to store. I have tons of flashcards that I use with the kiddos on a regular basis in different ways for every subject, for math and reading, even for history. And then they get um, my toddlers going through, of course, her mumps and her days. They have scripture cards. We do sight words, all sorts of things like that. And I love that you can take them off and use them and then put them back so I mean to me that was just like yes a no-brainer never thought about that until I got these that, that would be something super cool so I can keep up with all of their different flashcards and then this is just some of my curriculum um, books for planning and working with the kiddos on um, daily and yeah and so then we have 
these bins, which you saw some of these with the toy bins, but for me, I use manipulatives a lot because we do a lot of hands-on activity. So rather than keep them in all these small little containers like I used to, I'm now storing them here. We've got fishies and logic little cards that they use for logic boards, bugs, and all sorts of things like numbers for clocks. My toddler's doing that. And let's see, oh, my Lincoln Cubes, I can't go anywhere without those. Those have come in handy so often. We use those for all different things. Buttons and sorting for my toddler. So, oh yeah, these are super cute too. So these are full of puppets, finger puppets. And so we use these in geography and my toddler uses them for imaginary play. But just different ways to make learning exciting. And then down here, my kids love puzzles. And so they have all sorts of ones, big ones, small ones. And so we store them. This is actually... Uh, taken from my larger plant in my office and so I um, wanted to spread the love in this room so we've called her Lovey. Her name is Lovey and already if you look um, really closely she's already blooming a little bit, um, already sprouting another one and so I can't wait to see how she turns out in this space. Overall I am super pleased. Let me know what you all think about this mama space that I have for school. All the resources and products that we're using are also in the description box. And leave us a comment. I love interacting with you guys. And more than anything, I thank you for watching. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. It's mommy motivation.